One is called the buffet, and it's not buffet, it's buffet, <laughs> right? Uh, one is a buffet. Second one is called a la carte, and a lot of Sri Lankans say a la carte, a la carte, neme a la carte, al tayaka, because it's French, right? Uh, a la carte, ki word bullock carte, <laughs> right? So be very careful, right? A la carte. And the third one is called fine dining, okay? Now the difference is, okay, tell me what's a buffet? What's a buffet? What's a buffet? Have you all been to buffets? Self -service. Yes, thank you. Okay, now. Okay, self service. What else? You can serve multiple times. Oh, yes, you can go any number of times. Okay, now tell me. What's the minimum number of times you would go? Minimum. Once. 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 Twice. 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 Perfect. <laughs> no, no, no. I love you. <laughs> okay. Four times. Very good. Okay. <laughs> right? Technically, in a buffet, minimum, you have to go six times. Oh. <laughs> what do we do? We start from the soup for the salad corner and we end up at the dessert counter. Everything in between is on the plate. And we create a little one valley salad on the plate. Right? So then what happens is people who see this plate, they look. <laughs> now see foreigners. They take, they go so many times. Do we notice them? Right? But do we notice the plate? No. Because there's only a little bit. But for us, when we take appetizer, we take as if that is the main. Right? So obviously people get heart attacks. Right? So in buffet also, we have to know how to handle it. We have even in a very. Don't get this wrong. Times. Right? And you pay only once, right? You don't pay so many times, you pay only once. Beverages are not included, only water is included. Okay, got it? Right. A la carte means you will be given a menu card. You order from that. So selection is limited. Quantity is totally decided by the chef, not by you. But it's a quantity that a normal human being should be eating. Right? So don't worry. It's enough. Right? And here again, beverages are not included. Only thing is, if you need to repeat, if you need to go all over again, you need to pay all over again. Got it? Yes. Now I come to the last one, which is called fine dining. Anyone been to fine dining? A seven course meal? Okay. Any day, if you get an invitation, please jump and go. Right? Lot of Sri Lankans are very scared to go for fine dining. Not for anything else because like this you get hell of a lot of cutlery. Right? So we can't figure out what to do with it. Right? I'll teach you what to do with it. This is all. Say you forget all of these things. You can't remember a thing. Right? Go and sit down. Right? First figure out whether you are a left hand or a right hand. Okay? So first you need to figure this out. Right? And then check out who's seated next to you. Okay? If that's a right hand and if you are also a right hand, do exactly what that person is doing. <laughs> right? That person is also wrong. That's fine. Now there are two people at the table. <laughs> so it's not wrong. That's what we call standardization. <laughs> right? What I always tell Sri Lankans, don't lose the opportunity. Now, when you say formal gents, what do you wear? Formal dress code, what do you wear? Gents, what do you wear? Oh, great. We don't have gents. <laughs> right, what do we wear, gents? Shirt, yes, yes, shirt has to be there. <laughs> shirt? Trouser, yes, you can't do it. <laughs> yes. Shirt, trouser, tie and the coat, shoes and the socks, yes, yes. Coat, okay. Right. 
what you wear as formal is, right? Please remember, you have you wear the dress pad. Do you know what a dress pad is? Suit take it no? Yeah, suit take it a pad take it up. You can't dress pad, right? So dress pad, shirt, long sleeve, double cuff, not single cuff, right? So double cuff means it falls up again, right? And cufflinks, right? And then you wear the tie. You wear a waistcoat. Api waistcoat kela kya ni? Aka, right? And the jacket. Semi-formal thamai waistcoat take a network, right? So remember formal keyword. You have to put the waistcoat, right? Because in fine dining, if you are not dressed properly, they will not allow you to sit down. They will say, extremely sorry, sir. You are not uh, allowed to take a seat. Please return. Right? So be very careful. Ladies, formal. What do you wear? Yes. Yeah, only for the fine. Day. Only for the fine diet. Not for anything in, else. Don't worry. In, in the inner, uh, the temple, uh, they will like this. Yes. If it is, if you call this uh, formal dress, but what would be for the yes. This is not formal dress. This is office dress. This is office attire or professional attire, right? This is not for. Sleeveless, it can be long sleeves, it can be sleeves, anything. But it's about one inch above your knee. Not about 15 inches above your knee, right? It's about one inch above your knee. This is for the young girls, please. No, young girls think revealing their body is the best thing, no. I always say modesty is the best thing, right? Not for anything else, right? Because keep something for people's curiosity. Evening gown means that's a dress that's touching the floor, a long dress. But ladies, no skirt and blouse, no pants, nothing. That is not for, right? So we have the beautiful thing, the sari or the osaria, right? I love yours. Right? So please do. I used to wear Osaria. I don't wear now because I have short hair. Right? I used to have very long hair up to my knee. So those days I used to wear the Osaria. Now I don't because I don't want to disrespect Osaria. Right? Now I wear the Saad. Right? Because with the age, the hair gets shorter. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is what happens. Okay? Right? So now you know, in fine dining, what happens is when you dress up and go, first they will ask whether you want a mocktail or a cocktail. What's the difference between a mocktail and a cocktail? What's a mocktail? What's a cocktail? Cocktail contains alcohol. Mocktail is a mix of pure fruit juices. So they uh, mix three to four fruit juices and make a drink. That's a mocktail, right? Cocktail is anything to do with liquor. When I, if I am to take all of you all for a seven course meal, fine dining, I have to sit with the chef two to three days earlier and I have to do custom made food because fine dining means custom made food. Each person's one would vary according to their likes, dislikes, uh, sicknesses, all that. Right. Now, if I am going to take Sampa, I will say, Chef, Chef, he has diabetes, so his entire course cannot have any sugar. If I am going to say, take Dr. Pereira, I will say he has high blood pressure, right? So his entire course, right, cannot have that, right? If I am going to take, could I have your name, Doctor? I am Dr. Padmasiri. Okay, if I am going to take Dr. Padmasiri, I will say he is a fishtarian, but he eats eggs. Right? So his entire thing. So everything is custom made. Right? So only thing is, you will have the best of the best food. No bones, nothing. Right? And if I have to take all of y'all, each one of you will get a waiter. That's called a personal butler. Right? So if I'm taking 30 people, there will be 30 butlers. Right? And then after the seven course meal, the host will say, do hope you had a lovely evening. Let's proceed to the lounge area. That's where you will have your cigar with uh, brandy or your whiskey on the rocks. Right? Gentlemen, you don't drink. 
before you eat. Right? You never consume alcohol before eating. In Sri Lanka, it's the other way around. Right? So, maximum you would take, right? After the view at the bed, right? It's not. What maximum you would take is a gin, gin and tonic, or you can have a white rum, a Bacardi, or something you can have, nothing more. No beers, uh, wines, all of Wines you can, but no beer uh, for kids, no milkshake, no uh, frizzy drinks, aerated drink, no nothing, right? Maximum you can have is a lime juice, sorry to say, right? A lime juice or an orange juice or ginger beer, right? Because when you drink the other stuff, what happens is your tummy gets filled up. Right? Because carbon dioxide, right? So you need to tell the type of beef you want. So we have three types of beef. One is called the local beef. The second is a Wagyu beef. Third is a Kobe beef, right? Local kiyane a region ekada local. The apilangka wada mehda local, right? Wagyu beef means that's a prime uh, Japanese or the Australian beef, right? That's expensive, but you do get it in Sri Lanka, right? Kobe beef is the best beef in the world and the most expensive beef in the world. Why? These cattle are reared in Japan, uh, in organic farms, and every day, each and every cow is bathed with beer and brush for one hour. Every day. <laughs> yes, that's life. <laughs> right? And Kobe uh, beef is expensive, so any day, if you travel abroad and if someone is hosting you, right, try it out if you like, <laughs> right? Because that will come to about $1,500 to $1,800, right, for 200 grams. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right? Okay, so you know it, and please remember, uh, if they ask, how do you want it done, please don't say, well done. Lanka kya kyaane pa well done kya la? Well done kyaane charcoal well na kuchan. That you can't eat. Beef gets very hard. Any meat. You simply say half done. Right? Raya kyaane te pa raya kyaane amuing ni. Right? Yaan tam me wakala don't say that also. Medium raya is fine. E kyaane yaan tam me the prosapa. Right? That is fine. Don't ever say well done. But chicken, say well done. Chicken, you never eat medium rare. Right? And even in Sri Lanka, a lot of restaurants do this mistake. Chicken, then a medium rare. Cover the quad kanda epa. Right? That's how you get a lot of sicknesses. Right? Chicken has to be well done. Meat, each item is very different. So be very careful. And see what is there to eat. Don't go and stand in a queue like a dance seller, <laughs> right? That's what happens. We go and stand, and then whatever comes, you sir, hey, miss you not right? Please don't do that. First walk today also. Walk through the entire buffet and see what is there to eat, right? Then mark what do you want to eat. Paripu right? right? So don't eat. Potatoes, we do eat every day. Brinjals, we eat every day. Beans, we eat every day. Eva kanda epa buffet kata gihila. Right? Habai vena mukut natang kanda. Otherwise, you can do it. Manusha said not to eat. <laughs> right? There's nothing to eat. Right? So, <coughs> please walk around and see. Then only you will start. Right? So, he's only left one. Right? So now this is what you need to remember. When you go, there's a way to sit also. Just like there's a way to stand, there's a way to sit. Right? Now when you are entering the chair, please make sure you always enter now. This is the chair, the left side of the chair and the right side of the chair. My left hand, my right hand. So I'm a right-hander. I enter from my right-hand side. So my hand touches the chair. So this is chair's left hand. Correct? Okay. What you should remember is your 
right hand should touch the chair. So only some part can enter from the left side. So others can't. Okay? Got it? Yes? Right. And then how you sit matters. Now what we do is we go, we just sit and after that we keep kicking our legs. Right? Till the food comes we are very happy. Right? No. There is a way to sit also. Right? How you sit is you always sit on the edge of the chair. So you sit on the edge of the chair, take your right hand and push it down on the seat and give the weight of your body to the hand and lift and go back and straighten yourself. When you sit like this, this is a perfect L. So you will see here at the back, between my back and the chair, there is a gap. It has to be there. If I'm aligning the chair like this, this is slouching. Now, what you all are doing is slouching. Right? So you need to sit this. You know why this is important? Because if you don't sit properly, it's very difficult to handle the cutlery. The cutlery will not feel the confidence we have. And then only the chickens start to fly. <laughs> okay? So we have to be very, very careful. Right? We are tough. Right? Now only thing is, don't go and sit there and measure. <laughs> okay? So roughly figure out, right? You know, if you are too far, it's difficult to handle. If you are too close, yet again, it's difficult to handle. Only cutlery and food comes onto the table. Nothing else. Okay? So gents, car keys, phones, nothing. Where do you put those things? Where do you put those things? That's why you have pockets, right? Put them in the pockets, right? Ladies, you all are the culprits, right? Where do you keep your handbags and purses? Okay, let's tackle the handbag. Where do you keep the handbag? Left or right? In or out? Okay, you have to keep it on your right hand side, half in, half out. You don't put it totally in, simply because our memory is that good, we forget it and go. Right? We don't put it totally out, simply because the waiters serve from the right hand side. They might topple over this and fall on to us. <laughs> right? So we don't. Now ladies, the clutch purse. Where do you keep the clutch purse? I'll shoot it for a second. Wedding so again, where do you keep it? I see whenever I go for a wedding, I see if there are five couples, five clutch purses on the table. And then they are a cake candy, then you look away. Hurry, Eva, Tia. Tia, you are a light of a second. Me, so hurry, podi. I mean, I, I don't think the mesa are podi, right? Just that we have put unnecessary stuff. So, ladies, where do you keep your clutch purse? Where do you keep your clutch? Yes. So if you are wearing a sari, take the sari fall, put it on your lap, right? Then keep the clutch purse, and then you put the napkin. What our ladies do is, they put the napkin, and on top of that, they keep the clutch purse. So if anything falls, it's on the clutch purse. Right? So be very careful. Now kids, you need to help me out. Okay? Now you need to check your mothers out. Right? It's like, oh my God, you are kidding, really telling us to do this. <laughs> when you come and sit, there won't be a plate, but the napkin will be there. Okay? That's your napkin. Then, on your left hand side, you will have the bread plate. On your right hand side, you will have the glasses. Now, in Sri Lanka, we think we eat from the right hand, so the glasses come to the left hand. So, we always take the next one's glasses. Right? Please don't do this. So, for you to make, for you to remember it easily, I have crafted this. So, you know BMW? The vehicle? Car? You don't know? Right. So, find the BMW. Right? Where do you go to eat? Okay? Simple thing. M, meal. Meal means the plate that comes here. That's where you get the napkin. B is bread. <laughs> Right? That's a bread plate. Right? B, M, 
W, water. Right? So find your BMW. Right? Once you find your BMW, you are sorted. Okay? Can do this? Yes? Right. Now, next thing is, please remember, cutlery always starts from out and it comes in. What we do is, we always start from near to the plate, right? And we touch this, right? What is in front here? What are these for? Sorry. Please remember, this is for dessert. Not dessert. Dessert is Sahara Kantare, which you can't eat. <laughs> right? What we eat is dessert.